Hello, it's Tubosys Pro. It talks about functions of some basic modules in it. Now I add a task. I add the first module, account. To select accounts needed in task, I can select some accounts randomly. I can also check accounts categories. To check login or not, checking login is the default. How to use accounts? To use all checked accounts, or to use one checked account randomly. Text module. To input or import texts needed in the task, such as keywords to search, text to comment, and text message to send. When importing texts, I can import a single line or multiple lines per line. Single line per line, for example. Multi lines, for example. These are texts added. Next, I will import texts from file. If I import multiple values on one line, the text will only be placed on one line and will stay the original format. If I import a single value per line, one value will be placed on one line. That is, texts will be arranged to lines automatically according to enter. Export means to export data as files. Select one or more and even all texts. Hit delete button, I can delete selected texts. I manually add two more texts, for example. How to use data? Use the first row, last row, or random row. How to deal with data after being used? Don't delete, delete the row. Move the row to the last, move the row to the first. If I want new data each time, I can use the first row and move the row to the last. If I want to use the last row, I move the row to the first. If I want to use random row, I should not delete the data. If I use random row, I'd better not delete the row in case there is not enough data. The way of fetching data in TubeSys Pro is always the same. I will not talk about this again. Time text module to use texts in a specific time period. Import, export, and delete functions are the same as those in text module. This is time period. It means task will run according to a specific time period and use the corresponding text to each time period. Four types of time period. 7 to 8 o'clock in a day, for example. If I set a text for this time period, task will use this text every day during 7 to 8 o'clock. Monday in a week, for example. If I set a text for Monday, task will use this text on every Monday.
it is the same with week in the month. Month in a year, it's still similar. Only one type of time period is allowed in a time text. If I set a few types of time period, the task will run following the final time text settings. URL module to input or import URL needed in task. Get the format right to ensure I can input or import URL successfully. Import, export, and delete functions are the same as those in text module. Photo module to import one or multiple photos to use in task. Only photos can be imported here. These photos, for example, I can delete one or multiple photos. The next module, filter module, automatic filtering of data that is not needed. Select a data source here. To select a data in data source to filter out here. Data source and data to be filtered out should be the same type of data. Both are text type or URL type. RSS module to get content needed in task through certain URL. RSS URL on the left, content to get through the URL on the right. Hit on the three buttons to set the content. To get duplicate RSS data or not, this is the amount range of content to be scraped. Sleep module is the waiting time when task is running. Task will wait for a moment randomly between the minimum and maximum waiting time. Four types of time units. The last one is Save Results module. It means to save the results in file format. File format can be TXT or CSV. Here to select a data to save its results. Select a file path here. I can empty the file path. That's all for this video. Thank you.